one. <laughs> Hi, grade fives. Okay, so you've just watched two YouTube videos on your equivalent fractions. Okay, after you watch those two videos, you can move on to this worksheet. Okay, it's more equivalent fractions. Okay, they give you some examples here with the picture. Okay, the rest they want you to do without the picture. So I'm going to show you an example of how I did it, which is the examples that they show you in the videos before this worksheet. Okay, so this is just me adding to that. Okay, first D is 6 over 12. Okay, well, if, how do I get from 12 to 6? Okay, well, I divide by 2, right? Not timesing by 2 because it's less. So I'm dividing by 2, I get 6. Okay, well, what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top. So I'm going to do 6 divided by 2 is... Three. Okay, that gives me my equivalent fraction. Okay, if you're having trouble without the vis visualization, then you can draw them out. Okay, you'll draw the circle, divide it by 12, shade in six parts. Okay, and then that will help you see it. Okay, if you need to do that. Okay, another observation that I can see by looking at this fraction is that six is half of 12, okay? So another equivalent fraction would be half, okay? Well, now, this even helps me without even dividing or multiplying, okay? Because what is half of six? Well, half of six is three, okay? So that's why I know that is an equivalent fraction, mm -hmm. okay? So G and I are going to be difficult, um, maybe not difficult, but this won't help you with G and I. If you look at the fraction, you should notice right away that five is half of 10, okay? So what's half of six, okay? I, two over four, you notice that two is half of four. So that should be equal to what is half of six, okay? All right, if you have any questions, please message us. Good luck.